Hello everyone, welcome back to JustTravel.com. Here in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Stripe Payment Gateway in your Laravel applications. In the previous video, I have uh, made a demo of this application that is a working demo. Now I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to create a new application, integrate all this, yeah, install this comp install this Stripe package, and uh, create this form and all this stuff. Actually, there is already a already a project on github but anyhow i'll do it again in this video that was not recorded so i will do this now let's create a new laravel application so now i am going to create a new laravel project using this uh, composer create project command laravel and i'm going to name this application as uh, stripe laravel uh, for video purposes video and i'm going to specify the version as uh, 5.5 here so this creates as a new laravel project so it's installing i'll just uh, pause it and come back when it is done as you can see here application created successfully so we can go into that uh, we'll go here stripe uh, that name is we have given it as uh, stripe laravel video we'll go into that folder and we'll uh, uh, run it to test 20 php artisan serve it's already in use i think i'm running some other project here so i will give as port here um, we can give as php artisan serve and we can also give a port here instead of uh, default uh, 8000 which is uh, here in this case i'm running another project here i'll give some 8594 that is addition so it will it will open in this uh, URL I will click here you can see Laravel uh, this is a default Laravel application so now what we'll do is um, we'll first install uh, this uh, stripe package we can use it we can install it using composer we will say composer require stripe that is stripe php so i'm going to install this now it will install stripe for us and in the meantime i'm going to tell you that uh, we need to install this uh, sorry we need to uh, register here in this stripe here i have, I have already registered just uh, sign up there and make sure you are in the test mode so this is all the test data because we need this uh, stripe uh, public key and uh, secret key now so this is done so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in uh, sublime text editor so this got open here so first thing uh, as I said here we will just uh, we'll use a form here I have used this form here uh, this is uh, this HTML and markup. I have um, copied this from this uh, boardsnip.com. There are many ready made awesome Stripe payment forms. So I will grab one and use it here. So I have grabbed this one. This is how our uh, demo also looks like. This is our demo. And uh, it comes with HTML, uh, CSS. Anyhow, I'm not going to use this uh, bit of CSS. And JS. It also comes with validations and also uses this. Uh, type response handler and all so we no need to do anything and just uh, use this thing and I will do that now I will open this uh, resources views welcome.blade this is the default uh, uh, page which comes with uh, laravel when you open this uh, this is the template coming from welcome.blade.php so I am going to remove all this and uh, place that uh, stripe form so I have set basic HTML template and uh, copied that form. This is the form here. Uh, I will just uh, zoom it a bit. Uh, this is the form here. It says require validation and this is the test key. Uh, when we register to when we register to Stripe, we can get the test keys here. We can get those test keys from um, API. You can click API here and you can see this publishable test key. And uh, if you click this reveal test key reveal test key token you can get the secret key this will use later in our um, controller so we grab this uh, 
test key and paste it here and this is the csrf field when we are using uh, this post method uh, this uh, csrf field we need to use for uh, uh, cross site request for 3 prevention and all that this is basic form with uh, rows and columns bootstrap grid this is uh, name on the card this is the card number and this is the default amount I'm not going to uh, ask any amount from the user I'm collecting default of rupees $300 and this is the button for pay and these are sessions uh, actually these are also sessions which are coming uh, which shows us message like uh, whether the payment is success or payment is fail you can see we will get this message from sessions these sessions are are coming from the controller I will just show them and these are the functions so uh, before going to this javascript let me just uh, run this and uh, uh, I show you here if I refresh this I think I need to start it again php artisan serve so now if I if this you can see this is the card you can enter some details like uh, you can see if you are entering empty it uh, checks uh, validation and all this validation and all also came from this uh, bootstrap itself this is the basic validation it came from this uh, code snippet so when initially when the form is clicked uh, we are not uh, going to submit the form we will just uh, prevent the form and we will check with all these details you can see we will create a token using the details entered uh, before that we will check for errors if uh, there is any errors in the form we will uh, show the errors and if there are no errors we will collect this uh, uh, card number CVC expiry month and expiry year you can see this here uh, with that details we will create a stripe token you can see stripe dot create token so for, for that function we will give these parameters this number CVC expiry month and expiry year we are getting all these details from the form and then we will pass it to this type response handler it uh, will then generate a token for us response id you can see this uh, we will get this token from this stripe in the, we'll get the token from uh, stripe js and we'll store that in this token and then we'll uh, submit the form we'll uh, enter this field to the form with all these uh, things like uh, this uh, name, card number, these details along with this we will enter this token and then we will submit the form so after submitting the form it will go to some controller uh, for that we will uh, uh, define a root there so for simply now I will define another root root that will be post post and I will redirect it to the um, uh, actually there will be only one function instead of uh, creating a new controller and writing there we, have, we can also write here it, uh, you can also write it here itself so I'm going to write it here itself uh, that would be so we'll give a parameter called request here so if you are importing requests you also need to uh, import them using this use and that will be in uh, illuminate and in eliminate it will be in http and that is request so now we can uh, use this uh, uh, stripe thing actually we need to set our stripe uh, uh, api key here from this stripe package there is a function called set api key uh, we will set that and here you need to enter your test uh, publishable key actually we need to use this uh, we are not importing any stripe here so we need to use like this actually we need to use another one the stripe will be in a we should use it like this uh, as we are not using any imports here we can uh, use uh, using these slashes actually this uh, api key is uh, from here if you click this reveal test key token uh, you will copy and paste that key here now we will try and uh, charge the user try catch so in this uh, try block uh, what we will do is we will again create a stripe charge that would be stripe and it is charge so uh, we are creating a new charge uh, we will use this create function and it takes a parameter it takes array as parameter so it takes the array as parameter 
now in this array for the first the one is amount and this amount is uh, we are uh, statically charging 300 there 300 dollars so we need to enter 300 in 200 uh, because by default stripe charges uh, the units as cents default unit in stripe is cent so we are, if you want to charge a dollar we need to multiply it with 100 so it will become dollars so after that the currency you can also set the currency and the currency is set to usd and after this currency we will uh, get the source that is the token uh, the source would be this is the token which generate which is generated from stripe js in this uh, here this is the token we need now so i will use this uh, using this request variable uh, and that variable name is uh, the stripe token i guess that is name that name is stripe token i will paste it here uh, now the last parameter is we need some description like uh, thing we will create some description and we will create uh, we'll create description as sample description something like that so we'll use sessions for that uh, I will use session flash here flash and I will paste that um, it's actually if you can see here we have something here this is the thing uh, so we'll use this success message so that success message would be a payment done successfully something like that successfully and after that we are redirecting it back to the home page so this is for the try block to need to return return redirect return redirect back and in this catch block uh, we'll catch some exceptions uh, and in this uh, catch block we'll just uh, show this uh, some some different uh, uh, success failure message I guess that is fail message will give some error message like uh, error or error please try again something like that so now that's it for this uh, that's it the, that is the simple thing we need to do for this uh, stripe creating a charge uh, we can also create uh, subscriptions in uh, stripe that is when user um, uh, fills all the details we will create a customer you can also create customer here instead of charge there are so many methods you can create a customer you can create a subscription and add a customer to it so now uh, we'll just run and see but before that i will paste my secret key here so now we will run this and see now so now i'm going to refresh this and run this again i will enter some name like uh, uh, test name card number uh, as you can see here um, we are in the test mode we need to enter these card numbers these are they have given some uh, test card numbers which will uh, use for this uh, uh, testing this type payment we'll use this first one which is um, 424242 and all so i'm going to give that here 4242 be 16 digits uh, 123 you can give any expiration month like uh, 12 and the year should be greater than current year i'm giving 2020 When I click this way, you can see this payment done successfully. And uh, I will verify this payment now. You can go to this uh, Stripe dashboard, uh, click on payments, and you can see this is sample description. So, this is our current payment. You can see the time also. This is the current time. Uh, so, I'll click this sample description and check this. We have paid some 300 and this is our um, which is, this is the date which i have entered and this is uh, 4242 this is the card which we have given and this is the description which we have given now so that's how we can integrate this uh, uh, stripe payment gateway in our laravel applications that's it for this video i've also there's already there's already the code posted in github you can uh, uh, clone it and download it and use it for your purposes so this is the basic code this is all the code which I have just done so I didn't uh, made a video for that so I am creating this application again so this is how the basic type application works that's it for this video
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, give it a like, comment. Stay tuned for more videos from JustTravel.com. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel, watch another video, and visit our webpage.